it's about that time that we unbox those beautiful Halloween cases. So in my last video I take a look at all the content that was added in Screen Fortress, I'm mainly focusing on the maps. So if you have missed that video please do go check it out. I review each of the cosmetics in that video as well. So I'm not going to do that here as I've already seen them, I already know what they're about. But today we're going to see if we can get one of those elusive unusuals. Because there's some nice effects in this uh, case and there's some pretty decent hats as well. So fingers crossed I can get a very nice unusual effect. Not to make my demands but I've had my fair share of unusual fires and I just think a hat would hit that bit different. But without further ado, we're just going to jump into it and we're going to take a look at these manka store packages first, just to get them out of the way. So a, a very sniper themed unboxing there, can't even use them together so that's a bit of a scam. Yeah we're going to take a look at the, uh, the meat and potatoes, the bone chilling bonanza case. Yep so opening 16, let's just jump into it, let's go! Okay, first car oh, kept it. Didn't really want that one to be honest, but as long as we get out of the way to start with, don't get a duplicate. I'll be very happy because that was not a cosmetic I was a fan of. I don't, I don't like it. That's, that's all I can say really. So we're just going to move swiftly on to number two. Just forget about that one. Oh, multiple items. Okay, six side specs. Nice, nice. Oh, a dueling mini game. Fair enough. You know, can't really fault that. I sort of like the six side specs. I'm not sure if I'll use it in a loadout. We'll have to see because it is a cool looking cosmetic. So um, we'll see if I do like it. See how it looks. It's got it's got potential. We'll say that much. As we move into number three. Oh, ball plimes again. Let's go. Ooh. This very cool in strange as well. I do like this cosmetic. Very nice. Domination kills. Okay, okay. Again, quite the collection of strange parts from all these unboxings I've done, and I, I don't hate it. But yeah, that's a very cool looking pyro hat. I am a fan. Don't know if I'll use it. That's going to be a theme with many of these unboxings. Don't know if I'll use the cosmetics, but if they look cool, we'll give them a shot. Constructor's cover. Okay, okay. Oh, lovely. Tour of duty ticket. That's for the engineer. Some armor. We'll have to see how that looks. But I'm happy with the tour of duty ticket. I love MVM. I did another toy last night actually um didn't get anything good but I, I always love mvm okay straight shortness of breath all right all right i think it was fate that I had to get this one because i'm recovering it in one of my um workshop videos so yeah not the biggest fan of it to be fair but it looks all right we'll see we'll see how it looks because I'm, I'm in the mood to change up some of my uh, loadouts so we'll see if any of these new cosmetics can really get this one's not getting in i I do not like this one. Now the creator of this cosmetic, they actually did like a like a whole neon lights thing for weapons. And that looked very cool. But Valve have kind of fucked up by just adding the hat and not adding the weapons too. Which then makes this hat not look that great. I think it would look better in a full neon loadout. But we just don't have the facilities to do that. Because Valve decided they didn't want to add the neon weapons thing. And fair enough, you know, it is a bit of a, a shout saying, hey, we're going to add an entirely new weapon customization thing in Halloween. But if you're adding the hat, it's a disservice not to add the weapon thing as well, in, in my opinion anyway. But yeah, let's move swiftly on. What case are we on? Number seven? Damn. We're speeding through this. God damn, we need to slow down. Jeez. <laughs> this is, uh, this is uh, disgusting. It doesn't look great. Now the thing is, it could look good on a loadout, and if it does, I'll take back everything I've said. But at face value, I'm not a fan of that. As we move on to numero eight. Ocho, if we're being Spanish. Oh, mean captain. Okay, okay. Not particularly a fan of this cosmetic, I will admit. Uh, it does look cool, to be fair, but just not really my vibe. Let's move on to number nine. And I'm seeing a distinct lack of multiple unboxes here. Not, not happy about that. But the Thunderdome, again, not really one I'm interested in. Looks all right, though. As we move on, number 10. Jesus. Well, speed run. God damn. And it's another single unbox. With this. Now, this one does look pretty cool. I do want to see how this looks in a loadout because I'm a fan of the design. I like the hat as well that comes with it. The whole set is very cool, very fantasy esque, which I'm a fan of. But we'll need to see if I can work it into a loadout or not because I have a lot of sniper body cosmetics that I like. I am open to switching up loadouts, but I don't know if this one will get in or not. It might do. It's got a good chance because it does look cool, but. 
we'll have to see as we move on to number 11. Come on, give me something, give me something good. Okay, splitting headache, not bad. It's a pretty funny cosmetic to be fair, and I do like sawmill, so... I'm a pyromane, I like sawmill. This is like the best of both worlds, isn't a hat. If only it was unusual, man, then that would go hard. Let's move on to number 12. Yet to see even a sniff of an unusual. Yeah, if this was the unusual, I would have, I'd have cried. I do not like this, um, this cosmetic one bit. I mean, it looks kind of cool, but I'm just not really a fan of it. As we go on to the final four, I just want to put it out there that it'd be lovely to get an unusual hat. Or do we reverse psychology and say, I'd hate an unusual hat, you know? I would despise an unusual splitting headache. Yeah. Oh, you're taking the piss. I said I don't like the hat, and then I get a duplicate. That was the wrong reverse psychology. You were supposed to do it with the hat, not the medical mummy. Yeah, damn. Single item again. What is going on? I'm being finessed. Warlock's war cloak. Okay, I. Mm, this one doesn't look great. I'm not in. Th I'm not thrilled by the. Uh, I don't know why that's so. I don't know why. I don't, it, mm, it could look cool. It could look cool. Um, I don't have high hopes, but it, it might look cool. <laughs> As we move into the penultimate case. Oh, this has not been, so far, not been my best showing for an unboxing. I mean, starred well, you know, cool spy cosmetic, cool pyro cosmetic, strange part, manco ticket. I'd argue that's a strong start, apart from that first cosmetic. And then it kind of just went downhill. We got a fair share of strangers, to be fair, but none. No elusive purple hat yet. Fingers crossed we can get one. Maybe they're saving, it, saving the best till last. Hey, that could, could be what's going on. Ah, oh, part of me believed there. Part of me believed that'd be the unusual I was desiring, but unfortunately it was not to be. And we've not done that well filling... Yeah, we've got a fair few, to be fair. I was going to say filling out the list. We've got a fair few. I mean, we're never going to fill it all from 16 cases, but we haven't even got any of the cool Halloween items. So that's a disaster as well. But I think as with all TF2 cases, we're going to just say a little prayer to Gaben, if he has anything to do with TF2 at all. Oh, Gaben. I hope you can hear this. I spent my good hard-earned cash unboxing these cases and I would love it if an unusual just fell into my lap. I know you love the dollarinos, so I gave you some dollarinos. Hopefully that's enough for you to shine upon me. Amen. Okay, here we go, boys. And I will close my eyes for this, actually. Oh, okay, they're teasing me. Fuck's sakes, man. Literally the worst cosmetic I could have received to end off this case unboxing. Not been my finest showing, I will admit. Looks like my unusual look has finally ran out after getting unusual fires in back to back to back unboxings. Oh, my camera's gone. Okay, well, it's a perfect time to end the video. Um, wasn't a great showing from me. I'm a bit disappointed, but as with an unboxing, it is always a gamble. So I can't really say I didn't expect to get anything better because you never really do when you do an unboxing. Um, some decent cosmetics in there that you'll have seen on screen as I unbox them, but not my best showing. Hopefully Christmas is a little bit better. But yeah, I've been over the giant tree. Hope you have a brilliant day, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace. Although you can't see me salute anyway, so I don't know why I've bothered. See ya. Hey, oh, uh, uh, I've been up for like two hours. Two hours. Yo, bitch can food took a few showers. Few showers. I don't buy my just money dance. Yeah. That wristwatch costs a hundred grand.